Hi everybody, Ricky from Connor D. Meadows Farm. So one of the things that you do 100% need when you are making soap is a scale. You cannot safely make soap by using cups or teaspoons or tablespoons. Soap making has to be weighed. Now, um, you know, back in pioneer times and all of that, um, many people made soap and they didn't weigh it. But a lot of the problem that happened is that their soap was lie heavy. Well, we know better now, we can do better now. So with the science we have available to us today, please make sure you weigh your soaps. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to use a scale for making soap, I have two scales here that we're gonna go over some features with today so that you can feel confident when you're weighing your soap that you are getting all the ingredients properly done. So this first scale that we're gonna look at is like a standard $20 scale in the grocery store or in any store that you would go shopping in, Canadian Tire, any of those stores that have something you can weigh. Um, it's battery operated, um, nothing special to it. The only thing you have to know is obviously your max weights is 11 pounds with this you're not going to be able to put an awful lot of stuff on this so this is a great scale though to start out when you're first making batches so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn it on so I have this one automatically set up to grams on the back of this one here there's a little button here and I can change what my weight is so I can go by kilograms I can go by ounces, I can go by pounds, and then back to grams. I tend to use grams the most in soaping. Um, that's just my personal pr preference. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna wait till it so shows us zero. When we are weighing, um, we need to put our container on our scale, and then we have the weight of the container which when, if we were to add an oil or a liquid to this, then our um, total amount is going to be completely off. So down here, there's a button called tear. And what that's gonna do if I hit that button is it's actually gonna bring this whole unit to zero. So now, if I was to take this, you can see now there's a negative that I've taken it off. If I was to take this and say I'm gonna fill it with some water, now when we put this back on, the weight that is showing up here is the weight of only the water, not of the container on. So this is how you would weigh everything out. You would weigh each item individually in the container, and then you would know that what is in there is the exact weight that is going into your soaps. So if I had another item to add to this, you could, in theory, tear this off again to zero and add your next item on top. I tend not to do that because if you put too much in, um, it's really hard to separate them out. So I usually will take what's in the container, pour it into the dish, and then come back and put the next item in. The other thing to watch for with battery operated ones is these guys will time out. There's only a certain amount of time that you have to fill something up before this will say, oh, I've sat here long enough. Even as you're scooping, there you go, you just saw it timed out. So you really only have a short period of time to put stuff into this container before this decides that it's done working and it shuts off. That said, even with those little hiccups along the way, for small batches and for starting out, this is a great little tool to have and it's very inexpensive. This is a must in soap making. What if you are ready to move up in the soap making world? It, I worked with that small scale for, I'm gonna say probably three or four years before I was able to move up to this next one. This is the KD8000. Um, the button functions are all very similar. I mean, I'm gonna turn it on. I put a bit of a plastic on the top of this part just to protect this from any oils or anything else that might get on it. Okay, so we can tear this 
just the same as the other one and now we're at zero this one um, you can change your mode so you have pounds grams kilograms ounces and then pounds and ounces mixed together again I tend to work a lot in grams so we have our container Obviously, we need to tear this down to zero. Then we're gonna add our ingredients. So in this case, let's just add some water again. So the one thing that I really like about this one is that, um, there we go. So now that is just the weight of the water. The one thing that I really like about the KD8000 is that it comes with an adapter. So you can plug this in which means that this doesn't time out as fast. This will still time out and turn off, but it is a much longer period of time. So when you're working with bigger batches and you're putting it in, it, um, it takes a lot longer to time out. Now, you gotta be careful when you're buying this one uh, online. A lot of the times they'll sell it and they don't include the adapter. So if you're looking to buy this one, um, make sure that you order the adapter separately. This is my go-to one. I love that it has a little flap here to keep this nice and clean and from stuff dribbling down on it. So again, we just have our power, we have our, our modes and we have our tear. I mean, scales are basically all the same thing, but they are a must to have in the soap making world. You cannot safely make soap without weighing your ingredients. If you have um, a recipe that calls for cups, please run the other direction and do not use that recipe. You risk someone getting hurt. All right, so I hope that video helped you out in how to use a scale safely for making soap. Um, again, it is a must have. You cannot safely make soap without it. Please do not make soap without a scale. I hope that you found this video informative and that it helps you make a better soap and gives you the confidence to go ahead and try. Um, until next time, thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you later.